Hi everyone, I'm Marina Gontrenko, a realtor in Southwest Florida, and today I'm going to give you a tour of Cape Coral, a water wonderland. Sixty-five years ago, two brothers from Maryland bought this land and started to develop it as a master plant community. The unique vision they had appealed to so many people that the community quickly grew to a city of now 200,000 people. What makes it so unique is that it has over 400 miles of canals and waterways, and that is by far more than any other city in the world. That is hard to comprehend unless you see it from space. Here are the area stats for today. The city population is over 200,000. There is one beach, 21 different parks and attractions. There are nine golf courses and over 254 restaurants. The city doesn't have any coastline, but instead has seven miles of riverfront on the north side of Caloosahatchee River. The center of Cape Coral is not your typical downtown. There are no high-rise buildings and it has an urban feel. There are some retail and restaurants, but when the biggest building downtown is a boathouse, it clearly shows what's priority here. Most of Cape Coral is residential homes on a canal some wider than others with both freshwater and saltwater canals. With only a few gated neighborhoods and condominiums, at the south end of the city there are two of them. The Marina Village is home to the Weston Resort and three 18-story tarpon condominiums. There are five restaurants in the village surrounding the Tarpon Point Marina. There are several larger homes as well, and the village is surrounded by nature and it makes some of the most beautiful views. Seems like an endless opportunity for fishing and exploring. Right next door is Cape Harbor, another community that has six restaurants, a few boutiques, and a safe harbor marina. Surrounding this area, we have some larger homes since this is the furthest point south with direct access to the river and bay. One of the most popular areas to hang out is Cape Coral Yacht Club, located at the very south end of the peninsula. There we have the one and only beach. The boathouse tiki bar next to the fishing pier, a boat launch, and the community pool.
it's a great place to spend time and enjoy the beautiful views overlooking the river. All along the river, there are beautiful homes of all sizes. There is also a lot of new construction in the area, so new homes are added daily. Here is a glimpse of some of the homes in the area. A fun fact is that residents here under the age of 25 actually outnumber residents over 65. An amenity that caters to that is the Sunsplash Family Water Park that's only closed four months of the year. Just on the other side of the river is the city of Fort Myers. There are two bridges connecting the two cities. That makes it very convenient to make the 11 mile trip and enjoy the Gulf of Mexico either at Fort Myers Beach or on Sanibel Island. If you would like more information on Cape Coral or need help buying or selling your next home, my contact information will be down in the description below. Thank you for watching and I hope this gave you a really good idea of what Cape Coral has to offer.